Hello, Nerdy Librarian here, bring, welcoming you to episode 39 of this legendary playthrough through of the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Special Edition. Felix, when last we left Felix Oddball, he had been at the College of Winterhold, made his way to the Arcanium, the library within the college, in search of knowledge concerning the legend of the Galdors, a prominent family within the College of Winterhold. In fact, the father of the three Galdor sons was actually long ago the Archmage of the College itself. According to legend, the three brothers had conspired to murder their father, the Archmage. They succeeded in doing so. And battle was waged with them. They fled. And each in turn, was defeated and interred at those locations, sealed away through time. Now Felix is on the hunt for the Galder amulet fragments. He's recovered two so far, the first being within Sorthal, when he did brother with or when he did battle with the oldest Galdor brother. And that was back when he was tasked with going to Sorthal with Tolfdir and other members of the College of Winterhold to do some research. And then this most recent one, he, in, he discovered information concerning Danos Valen, an explorer and avid researcher who was after the Galdor amulet fragments. Upon traversing Fulgenthor, an ancient Nord ruin and burial ground, he found Danas Valen dead. Seemingly dispatched by the Draugr that he knew that he was going to be encountering. Phil Felix managed to make it much further encountering the youngest brother within Fulgenthor, dispatching him, and in so doing, claimed the second Galdor amulet fragment. And now, one final amulet fragment remains in Germans Hall. So that's where we pick this one back up, and while I'm thinking about it, because we did retrieve the one from Sorthal, I believe I stored it in Bree's home in Whiterun. So, I kind of want Felix to have all three of them on him. Just see what happens. Also, graphics are going poopy in Whiterun again. Just sometimes when you fast travel to Whiterun, it's just... <clears throat> The graphics take a dump. <laughs> but, oh well. Now let's see here. It should be the... Well, there's the Sorthal Amulet. Oh, here's Nakrin. I was mentioning that we'd found an... A uh, an ancient, or a, a dragon priest mask in the past. Nakrin, this was the one that we encountered when we went to go defeat Alduin in... Oh, why am I blanking on the term for it? Sovngarde. There it is. Sovngarde. That took way longer than it should have to think of that. But yeah, so we have that in... Actually, while I'm thinking about it, we probably still are carrying Morakai. Yes, we are. For carry weight, let me just store that in here. So yeah, here's the Sorthal amulet. And we have... Oh no, we have two Galdor amulet fragments. But I'll take the Sorthal amulet just in case we need it. Right, they're considered quest items. I forgot about that. Couldn't store it, even if I wanted to. Which is actually good for me, because it means we don't have to worry about that. Now, if we 
heading down towards Iverstead. Gehrman's Hall lies on an island in the middle of this lake. So, one can only assume that the burial ground itself lies underneath the lake. Who knows what we're going to encounter due to that. Aside from Draugr. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to catch you by surprise. Run away, run away, go for it. Yep, welcome to Gearman's Hall. A dark, ominous, looming cave in the middle of the lake. Well, here we go. Oh, that's Skeevers. Missed it. I mean, for the record, it is kind of dark in here, so... I mean, one can be forgiven for missing the Skeever accidentally in here. They, they kind of blend in with the darkness. Well, looks like we have to drop down a hole to get in there. Lovely. Well, here we go. Cowabunga. Oop, oop. Okay, we're good, we're good. Alright. So, you can see there's def there are definitely ruins down here. I believe as well, if we continue along this way, there is a long flooded passage that has some interesting items in it. I'm not going to take the Orcish Boots, don't need those. Garnet, Gold, Lesser Soul Gem, and Scroll of Mayhem, along with a draft of water breathing. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh, Ooh Felix, you were drowning. They, I feel like they put that draft of water breathing there just to be like, yeah, you better drink this or you're going to take some damage. Thankfully, we managed to get out of there quickly enough that, well, it didn't totally wreck Felix's alt bar, but... It was still pretty painful. Also, we put those uh, soul gems we just picked up to good use already. Excellent. Okay. Oh, there's a door here. An adept lock. I don't see a trap trigger. I, I checked for traps. Don't worry. Don't worry. I, I did the smart thing this time. I didn't just blindly rush in. I checked. Which, you know, Felix doesn't have a lot of health as it is at the moment, so. Okay, Potion of Plentiful Healing, Elven Gilded Armor. Hmm, how does that compare with Glass Armor? 63 versus 59? It's, it's not very good. It has some value to it, but not going to worry about it. There's probably better stuff down here that we can find. Looks like the spiders really made themselves at home. Oh, hold up. Oh, we walked right by a trap trigger. I thought it, you know, I thought I said I checked for traps. Apparently I didn't check well enough. We just got lucky and avoided that. Okay. And then I'm seeing an eagle carving here and a whale carving here. So, e ooh, eagle, whale, whale snake. So, this one... Probably an eagle. Oop. Careful of the Draugr, they can definitely come to life here. Oh. Oh, wow. He came from behind and we didn't see him. Oh. A normal Draugr? <laughs> That's funny. That's laughable. You know what? You know what normal droggers are? Fodder. Oh, this has to be a trap, right? Right. Yep. You can't fool me with that. You can't fool me with a trap like that. No, I saw it coming from a mile away. 
Okay, so we have the eagle there. I believe we need to have a whale here. And then what was it? Uh, snake whale? So, snake there, and then whale here. I'm going to back up here and take a look at the symbols again, just to be sure I'm doing this correctly. Okay, eagle, whale, and then whale, snake. Oh, I might have put some of those backwards, so that was an eagle there. Whale, and then it needs to be whale, snake, not snake, whale. That could have been, that could have been bad. Okay, whale, snake, and now, boom, we're through. Nice! Flamenita, okay. No. No, missed it. But! Everything should try to come investigate. Oh, we unicorned him! <laughs> okay, just one more. Apparently it's up top there. Ooh, mage light? Uh, we... We did not have mage light already. Really? We had candlelight, but not mage light. What's the difference between the two? Candlelight. Creates a hovering light that lasts for 60 seconds. Or a mage light. Ball of light that lasts 60 seconds and sticks where it strikes. Candlelight is honestly more useful. As aside from the fact that you can sneak a little bit better with it because it's not stuck with you. Archmage Garmund. Garmund's epitaph. Lord Garmund, Archmage of Windhelm. Lord Battle Mage to King Harald. Magus, keep thy vigil eternal. Serve now in death as you did in life. By these seals our realm preserve from traitor three from Traitors 3 and their charm of strife. This is the Archmage who was slain by his sons. So he was avenged once. Let's avenge him a second time. Okay, an enchanting table and ooh, ebony battle axe. It's probably worth quite a bit. Granted, I don't have a lot of carry weight left. Oh. No. No, for how much it weighs and its value. I mean, the value's good, don't get me wrong, but for how much it weighs, it's not worth picking it up. <laughs> It's really not. Bunch of ruined books there. Okay, let's move on. Check for traps as we go. Okay. Okay, here we go. Going up a little bit. I was gonna say, that health potion seemed a little bit too convenient where it was located. Wasn't I right about that? Of course they put a drug or death lord up here. Yeah, boy. This just gets better and better, doesn't it? Oh, hello there. Goodbye. Let me put a second arrow in you. Run away, run away. Yeah, this death lord is tanky. Boy. Or you, death breath. <laughs> yeah, death breath. Oh boy. You know, there is a shout in this game that I really want to get. I've never really used it much, but I know it's hilarious. Throw voice. 
because it actually has hilarious audio lines that go with that, if I remember correctly. Like, you ever feel like you just want to goad somebody by calling them troll bait? Well, now you can. I really want to be able to do that, because it's hilarious. I could have taken a shot at the Death Lord, but... Oh. Oh, oh, oh. I don't think it was going to be worth it, though. It's better to make sure that you can hit and get a sneak attack versus hit and get a better chance that the Death Lord is going to spot you because, well, one swing of his, what appears to be an ebony uh, war axe, one-handed, well, is almost certainly instant death. And honestly, I don't want to end up like him. That's that would not be a good look for uh, Felix here. He doesn't look good in Skellington. All right. Oh, you were standing right there. Why don't you move forward a little bit and then jump in? Okay. If that Death Lord tries to get any closer, it's taken enough damage that. We hit it one more time, and it's going to go down on one knee. Like I said. Um, yeah. We're going to reveal ourselves with this, but... Oh, don't give me the animation cinematic. It gives it more chance to heal back up. Okay, didn't have to worry about that. It took care of it. Excellent. Wait. Oh. I I picked up the Galder Blackblade? I don't remember doing that. For its for its weight, it's not worth carrying. <laughs> well that explains a lot. Oh, a set of dwarven armor? Another thing I don't need to carry, because that's forty five carry weight. No. <laughs> Get that away from me. But the Ebony War Axe. <laughs> no. Absolutely not. It weighs too much. Okay. So. If I pull that lever a second time, is it going to uh, send spikes in my direction? Is that how this is going to go? Yes. Obviously, there is a secondary mechanism around here somewhere, right? Or, or what? There it is. That's sneaky. That's real sneaky. Is that another? Oh, that's a scourge. Well. Let me introduce let me introduce you to my good friend Gravity. That missed. Oh, okay. Okay, he's getting up. Did some pretty decent damage to him and he's down there. Well, that helps. Gets the scourge out of my face. So, it's nice not to have to worry about him so much. Well, I guess we can continue to move forwards. That could possibly be spikes here. Missed it. Hit the restless one, that's fine. Oh. That was the scourge from behind. Wait. Wait a minute. How did it get behind me? Oh, jerk. 
I mean, you're helping to build my, uh, light arm skill, but still, Dirk. Oh boy, they're swinging axes up ahead. That's mildly terrifying. Oh, okay, we're above the chamber with, uh, Archmage Galdor. Okay. That makes more sense. That's some context there. Got the Scourge. I'm not gonna go back down there to try to get any of that stuff back. I'm not too worried about it. Oh, okay, that was a trap trigger that they hit. That's a scourge. Let's see what happens when it goes through the axes. If it goes through the axes. Is it not going through the axes? Seriously? Okay. Alright. I can wait here. If you don't want to do your job, jog your scourge. You have to come after me. Yeah, so now it just knows where I'm at, and I can't even do a sneak attack to it. <sighs> well, let me just, uh, charge up my bow in frustration. With the, the small soul jumps first. There we go. That, that's better. I feel it a bit better now. Oh, that was sneak attack. Nice. Got him. Hey. Oh. What? Oh, I forgot to quick save, didn't I? Dang it. Wait. It put me all the way back here? I could have sworn there was an autosave in there. What the heck, Skyrim? That's just petty. Why? Why would you do that to me? Okay, draft of water breathing. Let's drink it. Just so we don't drown this time we can go we can go a little bit quicker and ah, I forgot to quick save again this is just me trying to uh, play with speedy frustration Let's unlock this again by the way good to build the lock picking skill if we can Not quite to the next level, but oh well. Uh, yeah, it's still gilded elven armor. That's fine. Let's move forwards here. Deftly dodged the uh, the trap trigger. Okay, not gonna walk right by this one this time. No better than that. There's that one. Missed. Got it. Okay. So it's Eagle Whale. Okay. Eagle and Whale for this side. And then it's Whale Snake. So Whale there. Snake here. And then I do want that black soul gem. But I'm just gonna grab it and walk this way. So I don't get hit by a giant mammoth skull. We should be good to go. There we go. And quick save. So we're not idiots twice in a row. Fool me once. Shame on you. Fool me twice. Shame on me. Oh, and 
yeah, while I'm at it, once again, I'll still have the Galder Black Blade on me, so let's store that on him arbitrarily, because we can. It's not worth that much, and it weighs a lot. Like, we, we don't need it. We honestly don't need it. Okay, so we read that. Uh, I'm not going to take the Elven Boots from Lord Garamond. Gonna go through here. Oh wow, just spawned a dragon on the other side. Whoopsie. Frostbite, Frostbite spider, disgusting. It's fine, we got rid of it. I still don't want that ebony battle axe though. Okay, and then once we get to the top of this staircase here, or nope, I'm gonna quick save right now because there's a Draugr Death Lord up ahead because we have to fight through him again apparently it, it's frustrating it's frustrating when you forget to quick save oh great now he spotted me this time around great how far is he going to pursue me let's play that little game Uh, apparently not very far. He's apparently not very good at it. Oh, 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 ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, he's apparently not very good at his job. Uh, where, where, oh, okay, I know where I'm at. Sorry, sunlight is just streaming through my window again here really unfortunate makes it really hard to see what I'm doing down in a dark dungeon of a place like this oh would you please move that is the slowest shamble I've ever seen and that's saying something there's some real slow NPCs in this game you are just Oh, you're so slow. You are extremely slow, you death lord. Has been all skeletal and that made you, uh... Whoosh! skill did go up there I'm I suspect we got hit by a pretty nasty arrow from Draugr Scourge up above because we were not stealthy in that instance it's good to know that we can tank something like that but at the same time it's not ideal um sure firebolt Finish off the Death Lord again. That works. Oh, and we have to uh, recharge the bow. Because. Because that needs to happen again. Okay. That should be everything that we did prior to getting off by an axe trap. Aside from. Taking out another drug or scur another drug or scourge and a couple other less lesser issues. I will take that one. Okay, let's not fall for the the cheeky trap. Spikes are so Do that before. Why didn't I do that before? Why didn't I just use the spikes? That was so good. 
Okay, uh, not gonna lie, my, so, I was, my, the recording that I was doing decided it was going to crash there, so I was trying to compensate for that, I don't know if you noticed that, I'm just gonna be completely honest with you. I don't know why it did that. Which, my controller actually decided it was gonna do something weird there too, so I don't, I don't know if there was some sort of power surge that just tried to happen, but it was annoying, regardless. Let's get a quick save going here. Um, well, nothing has hit the trap triggers, so that's good. Let's see if the scourge comes after us this time. No? Wow, he just doesn't go through the trap, does he? Wow, he's a smart dragger. Huh. Interesting. That'd do bad for you. Oh, a glass war axe. Not worth it. Not worth taking that. I mean, they're cool to look at, but as far as value to weight goes, not so good. Oh boy. This is a whole thing. Welcome to the boss battle arena. This, I would say, is probably the most dangerous of the three brothers. Well, the most dangerous of the three brothers resides in here. So we'll need to be careful, but we do have to, of course, start the boss battle. And then if I can get back up onto this raised platform here, which I can, that would be ideal. Yeah. Spawns and clones of himself. Which means he should be over on that side of the chamber. What the heck? Oh, and you have to find which one. Okay, that's that's the real Slim Shady. That's the real one. He stood up. Zig this. Yeah. When you're on a legendary playthrough, it's better to keep your distance. So he's that one over there. I can see the health bar. Ooh. Good dodge. Alright. Okay, that one's full health. That one's full, so it means he's going to be over that way. I don't want to deal with the clones. Or I don't I don't want to have to deal with head on with the clones. So Yeah, this is definitely an interesting boss battle to have to go up against. Although it's made trivial by the fact that you can tell which one is which just by which one actually has or which one has the correct health bar. So we have the last of the Galdor Amulet Fragment pieces and the Writ of Sealing. Which is basically the same wording on either of these. Just with insert Galdor brother name here. Be bound here. Seek this murderer betrayer. Condemned by your crimes against realm and lore. May your name and your deeds be forgotten forever, and the charm which you bear be sealed by our ward. Yeah, 50 ancient Nord arrows. And the Galdor Black Bow, which we don't need, because we can already absorb magic. But it's, it's the thought that counts. And this is where that... Uh, that collapsed wall was on the other side. You can see where the uh, out, the enchantment table is over there. So all in all, pretty simple. Uh, I just wish I had remembered to quick save. I could have saved a whole lot of time and agony. I thought I had timed the axe, the swinging axe's 
better than that. But no. Apparently not. Good news is, here it is. We've reached the treasure chamber. A greater soul gem. Potion of Extreme Magica. We don't need the Dwarven Helmet. That's not, that's not worth it. Uh, words and Philosophy. I believe we've already read that. Yeah, we've read that already in this playthrough. But it, but it, that is good to know that that's a thing. Some pearls, a small pearl, okay. Now, what you've all been waiting for, what's in the chest? What's in the box? And orc shields, no. Some gold, yep, ring of sure grip, I'll take that. Amulet of Talos, fine, whatever. Hunting bow of shocks, no, I'm just, I'm not gonna take that. That's not even worth it. Either it has to be worth more and way less, or it has to be something that's usable, that can potentially do more damage. If it's neither of those, I don't really want to pick it up. Oh! 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 I see what happened here. So, okay, I guess apparently when it didn't quick save, or when I forgot to quick save, it took me all the way back to the beginning of this place, and we just snuck past those skeevers. Okay, good to know. Well, let me just check here. Nope, we're good in the old active effects. We don't have any diseases that need cured, so that's good. Where do we have to go for this now? Ooh. Reach Cliff Cave is where we have to go. Well. You know what? I think this is a good place to stop this episode here. We successfully delved into... What's this place called again? Garman's Hall. Garman's Hall. There we go. There we go. I was just having a brain fart on that. So it's good that we have that established. Successfully delved into Garman's Hall twice because, well... The first time was kind of unsuccessful upon getting further in, but we definitely delved twice. Second time was much more fruitful. Defeated the third Galder brother. And now. Now. Next episode. We go to Reach Cliff Cave to reseal the amulet. Well, on that note, I'm the Nerdy Librarian. If you liked what you saw, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. I'm going to make more of these. Of course I'm going to make more of these. And I like to have your suggestions and that sort of thing. So, you know, keep on watching, keep on leaving comments. You know, especially if you want to see me try different types of magic or do certain quests or just, you know, your ideas, your thoughts, let me know. But... Thank you for watching.